Now, we're going to solder the motor wires to the robot body. But before we do that, let's first add solder to all four motor pads. Take a motor with the white shaft facing left and the adhesive strip facing the flat surface. Take the motor wire closest to you and solder it to the top left motor pad. Take the other motor wire and solder it to the bottom left pad. Turn the robot body to its side and lay the other motor so that the white shaft is facing towards you and the adhesive strip is on the flat surface. Take the top wire of the motor that is closest to you and solder that to the top motor pad. Take the other wire and solder it to the bottom motor pad. Now attach the motors to the robot body by removing the paper to expose the sticky adhesive strip and stick the motors to the robot body. Now, put the rubber edges onto the wheels. Take a wheel and insert it onto the white motor shaft. Take a screw and place it onto the center hole. Use a screwdriver to fasten it until the wheel is firmly attached. Now repeat this process for the other wheel. Flip the robot body over and insert the IC component onto the socket. There is a small notch on the IC component that should be facing upwards. Lastly, insert some AA batteries. Congratulations, you've now built your line follower robot. Use 2cm black electrical tape to create custom tracks for the robot to drive on.